Recently, astronomers recorded mysterious fluctuations in temperature on Neptune, which caused a sharp warming of the South Pole. In this video, you will learn about new discoveries on Neptune, what do the new mysterious fluctuations mean, how will warming on Neptune affect humanity. So watch carefully until the end. Guys, thank you for leaving your comments. The best of them get into my videos, and thanks to you and everyone who subscribes to my channel. We create this content and move on. Thanks for your support. Pour delicious juice into tubes, then they flew. The eighth and most distant planet in the solar system is Neptune. For its unusual blue color, it was named after the ancient Roman god of the seas and oceans. Like Uranus, Neptune is a member of the group of ice gas giants. They are distinguished from Jupiter and Saturn by the mantle, which is a notion of liquid ammonia and methane. The same methane, in the form of gas in the atmosphere of the planet, gives it a recognizable blue tint. Neptune is located at a distance of almost 2.8 billion miles from the Sun. For 165 years, it passed its orbit. It cannot be seen with the naked eye as it is located at a significant distance from the Earth. Galileo Galilei, at the beginning of the 17th century, twice observed a celestial body through a telescope, but mistook it for a star located close to Jupiter. Astronomers of the 19th century, observing the movement of Uranus, drew attention to its anomalous movement in orbit, which did not correspond to their calculations. The Englishman Thomas John Hussey suggested in 1834 that this behavior of Uranus might be due to the presence of an external object. Eleven years later, British mathematician John Couch Adams calculated the orbital path of the yet-to-be-discovered eighth planet. Neptune's atmosphere has the strongest winds, scientists estimate they can reach speeds of 1300 miles per hour. In 1989, during the flyby of the Voyager 2 spacecraft in the southern hemisphere of the planet, the great dark spot, exactly the same as the great red spot on the planet Jupiter, was revealed. In the upper atmosphere, the temperature of Neptune is close to 428 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures at the center of Neptune range from 10,000 degrees to 13 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature at the surface of the Sun and the interior temperature of most planets. Neptune has a fragmented and faint ring system that was discovered back in the 1960s but only officially confirmed in 1989 by Voyager 2. The weight of the planet's mantle exceeds that of the Earth by 10 to 15 times. According to various estimates, it is rich in ammonia, water, methane and other compounds. This matter, according to generally accepted terminology, is called icy, even though it is a dense and very hot liquid. This liquid, which has a high electrical conductivity, is often called the ocean of aqueous ammonia. Methane, at a depth of 4300 miles, decomposes into diamond crystals falling on the core. Scientists have hypothesized that there is a whole ocean of diamond liquid. According to a new observation by scientists, thanks to the very large telescope, specialists analyzed infrared images from Neptune, which were obtained over 17 years. It turned out that despite the onset of summer on Neptune, most of the planet has cooled significantly over the past 20 years. The planet's average temperature dropped 40 degrees Fahrenheit from 2003 to 2018. Summer Neptune lasts 165 Earth years, and astronomers expected that with its arrival, the temperature of the planet would slowly increase, not decrease. In addition, the warming at the South Pole also raised a number of questions from scientists as the temperature rose by 51 degrees Fahrenheit in two years. Astronomers have never seen such a significant warming before. Scientists suggest that the temperature fluctuations could be caused by chemical changes in the stratosphere, random weather events or solar cycles. It's good that scientists now have heavier artillery in the form of the James Webb Telescope to help do more research. What do you think? Are these changes related to seasonality on Neptune? Or are they really anomalous? I think in the summer, the Neptunians turn on their air conditioners to their usual temperatures. Kidding. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Have you finished all your space juice? Now you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and join the community of science and space lovers using the links in the description of this video. Hug you!